one of the reasons why Google, Amazon and these kinds of big players are so prominently dominant in their market is that they're able to test things so much faster than their competition. Now, as a small store owner, you probably don't have these capabilities. However, there is a mathematically proven way to test much faster than you currently are. And when you are moving faster, you are then crushing your competition. So that's what we're going to jump into today and discuss. But before we do that, if you haven't liked the video, subscribe, etc., do that. I'm Samuel Larsen. I'm the founder of Procurus.com, where we help mostly seven and eight figure e-commerce stores achieve more results with their current traffic. So conversion average order value optimization. Now for this concept here, I'm telling you that you can test faster than you currently are, but how? Well, to introduce this, I want to go first, like very quickly, three key concepts. So first of all, you have the concept of global maxima versus local maxima. So you have your global maxima, which is like the absolute top that uh, is basically possible. And then you have your current one, the current uh, limits of your design. So this is the local maxima. And here you start at some point hitting this point. Now, in order for you to go beyond this, you'd have to break something quite radically and like go with uh, out these existing boundaries. So that's the first concept. And this will all make uh, sense soon. Second concept, testing velocity. So how fast can you test? How often are you testing? So basically a testing velocity of once per month is one test per month, etc. So a very important metric in this learning loop. And third concept is hypothesis based testing. So this is where you form an assumption. We expect by X, we will be able to achieve Y. We will know this is true when set. So let's bring this full circle with these three concepts. So currently you have your current store, obviously. And then you have a hypothesis of how could it be improved? And you have a goal of increasing, of course, your conversion rates, but also your testing velocity. Maybe you see that like this store test could take three months. You want to get it done faster. So how do we do that? So first of all, like you have the concept of this global maximum versus local maximum. And here your current design is more perfected than your variant would be. So we are actually accepting imperfections in the variant so that we can test faster, AKA testing velocity. Now here, we only need to prove or disprove the hypothesis. And for this, we don't need a perfect variant. We just need this information because then we can make the variant perfect. And most store tests just fail. Like that's the name of the game because uh, you, as much as you can know what most likely will win, you then like uh, will always constantly be surprised. That's why we are testing. So the idea here is to test concepts and to test concepts, you need a good implementation, but you don't need a perfect one. So you accept that this implementation will be imperfect by X percentage and you calculate that into the AB test. So here, say you know that the design will be, say, 20% worse. The copy will be 10% worse than it could be on that uh, local maximum point. So you're not actually hitting that. And then you calculate how much more like then that perfect implementation would be. So for example, in a mathematical model, let's say the design will cost you 20%, the copy will cost you 10%. So you calculate 0 0.9 multiplied by 0 0.8 is 0 0.72. So you accept that this variant is actually at the starting point, having a 28% drawback to it. So here you can then test it. So say your variant in uh, this kind of uh, test will lose by 10%. Now with this calculation, it actually still performed 18% better than the control version because you made these decisions that this variant, if it was uh, equally valid and like uh, equally polished as the control, then this variant would be a winner. So now what you need to do next is proceed to make that variant as perfect as possible and run this test again. So here you are getting these uh, quick tests initially, and then you decide to fully commit to that test and explore this further. And this might mean that you might need to build multiple variants because you have this strong indication that this hypothesis is a killer one. So. There's a, your path to major wins. If you're looking for more optimization videos for CRO, average order value, e-commerce, purchase frequency, etc., make sure to subscribe to the channel. And if you like this stuff, want us to implement this kind of goodies to your store, go to crowbus.com for us last apply and let's take a look.
Thank you for watching.